What's going on YouTube? So even though the Genesis brand has only been separate for about five years now, it has certainly made a splash in the luxury segment. Probably the biggest splash was made by this GV80, their largest and most luxurious SUV. And today we're in the latest 2024 example in its new prestige signature trim. And you won't believe the amount of luxury this thing has. So has it exceeded even the harsh German competition? Let's go ahead and find out. Now to start off this review, let's begin under the hood with some baseline specifications. So the GV80 continues to offer two different engine choices, but if you choose the Prestige Signature, you're going to get the upgraded engine, of course, the 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 engine. It's making 375 horsepower and 391 pound-feet of torque. All models are paired to an eight-speed automatic transmission. All-wheel drive is standard equipment on all GV80 models. And as far as the fuel economy for this 3.5 liter twin turbo, that's 20 miles a gallon combined. Now, I'm sure you're gonna wanna see the performance of this out on the street. And rest assured, we are going to do that later on in the video. When we're doing that, we're gonna get things like our signature sound level reading so that you can compare to the German competition on carconfections.com. But first, let's close up the hood and look at the exclusive exterior details that this model throws in. And now when it comes to the exterior design, a lot of people like to say that this reminds them of a Bentley Bentayga. I would say, yes, it does, kind of. Um, but in certain respects, I actually think this looks better than a Bentayga. And like I mentioned just a second ago, we do have some exclusive details for that prestige signature model. The big one is going to be the finish of the grill. You'll notice that in exchange for the traditional chrome, we have a smoked chrome finish. So this is gonna be like a darker, kind of sportier looking vibe. And I definitely like the way this looks overall. Now, as we come over here to the headlights, these are gonna remain the same this year. We have those quad beam LED headlights, which are Genesis signature. Um, they're called quad beam because you have those four elements. You also have the separated two daytime running lights and turn signal indicators. No fog lamps though on any of the models. Now, as far as the rear design is concerned, you continue to have a really nice overall look, clean, classy, elegant. Yeah, for an SUV, she a fine little thing, that is for sure. Now let's go ahead and check out our taillights because that's really one of the biggest design elements that you're gonna see in the rear of this GV80. So we have LED brake light portion, we have an LED turn signal, and our LED reverse light is integrated down here in the lower bumper area. So all three elements are LED. Of course, you would expect that in a luxury vehicle. Genesis spelled out across the back. We have an exposed wiper. And then down in the lower area, we do have dual integrated exhaust outlets, which I really like. As far as the tow rating, it's 6,000 pounds, which is a little bit less than those German rivals. Now, as we continue on to the wheels, we do have an exclusive wheel for this model. This is a 22 inch alloy wheel. Uh, has a unique design and a gloss black finish, which I think looks really good. You also have your nice Genesis branded brake calipers kind of sitting out there exposed a little bit. Now, as we move on up, you've got those uh, two turn signal indicators integrated into the side. And as we move up here to the mirrors, of course, as you'd expect, all of the features are gonna be on board. So that's heating, auto dimming, blind spot monitoring, as well as power folding. And we also have the gloss black finish down here at the bottom. Now, as far as the overall length of this vehicle, we're sitting at 194.7 inches long. We do have blacked out roof rails, as well as that smoked chrome finish down here at the side. Now, I do want to mention this before we get any further. The Prestige Signature is only available in three exterior colors. You have this red, a green, or a black option. Now, as far as your safety systems, as you would expect for a fully loaded model, you are gonna have all of them as standard equipment. And as a matter of fact, they're actually gonna be standard equipment on any GV80 model. But guys, this is not just the Prestige. It's not just the Signature, it's the Prestige Signature. So let's go ahead and see how luxurious that interior is. But before, if you're new here, we're brothers and we've been reviewing cars since we were 12 and 16. We may be young, but we love cars. <laughs> and we'd love for you to subscribe to be a part of our Car Confections family. Let's learn a lot, have some fun with all the latest cars.
Now let's move on to the interior. First, of course, we'll take a quick look at the key fob. This is the typical Genesis key fob. Nice slender shape. You've got a lot of buttons on here because you can do things like remote start, of course, and you also have the smart park system as well built into the fob. And you have digital key as well, so you can use your phone to enter into the vehicle. As you approach, it'll go ahead and know that and fold the mirrors outward and reach behind the handle to unlock the door. Now, taking a look inside of the cabin. This is already a very luxurious place, but with this prestige signature, you'll see some really, really special elements on board. I want to talk about your seating and color options. First of all, we have the fine Napa leather seats. That means we have all types of quilting details running through here. This is a very beautiful, soft and supple seat. I love the way this looks and feels overall. And as far as your color choices, you're gonna are gonna be a little bit limited on color choices when you choose this model, just this black, or you can also get a beige and brown option. Now, as we move down here, you'll notice 16 way power adjusting seats four-way lumbar support, and you even have power massage. Of course, you also have memory seating as well. And the doors are a soft close. But let's climb inside and take a look at the rest of the details. Now that we're fully inside, let's start to kind of touch and feel around this exquisite cabin. Start with our door trim, of course, full leather covering here. We have leather all through here with the stitching detail, leather in the middle, leather along the top, and a beautiful open pour wood right there in the middle. Same deal is gonna apply up here on the upper dashboard, full leather covering with the stitching detail, more leather through the center area. And as we come down this side of the console, you'll notice one of the really nice features of this prestige signature. You have this quilting design from the seat kind of reflected up here in this big panel. And then of course, you've got the genuine open pour wood flowing through there. Beautiful things like your knurled metal shifter and glass uh, shifter here. Just overall, like I said, a very exquisite place to spend time. Now let's go ahead and fire it up. Now moving into a first person perspective, we'll take a look at our gauge cluster. Now it's a little hard to see on camera, but you'll probably notice those two little dots up there at the top. Those are sensors that monitor your eyeballs because these gauges are 3D. It's pretty neat. Um, you, if you can tell, the uh, speedo is kind of recessed back there, but then when you do things like turn on your blind spot monitoring system, that actually pops it out towards your eyeballs. It's a really interesting system, and none of the rivals are offering anything like that. Now up top, of course, you're going to find a nice head-up display as well, and you do have rain-sensing wipers. Now coming back to the steering wheel, this is kind of the unique Genesis two-spoke steering wheel. Um, a little bit controversial, but it's very nice to hold since it's covered in a good quality leather. You also have standard power tilt and telescoping and steering wheel heating. But let's go ahead and check interior storage. So we'll start out over here with our center console. You press this little button on the end that's going to fold that out in two different pieces. And we went ahead and loaded in our donuts here because we like to do the donut test and see how many donuts can fit into the center console. Well, the answer today is going to be 13. 13 donuts can fit in here. Uh, if it's above a dozen, then we consider that a great success. So even though it looks a little small on the top, it goes down quite deep. Now, in addition to that, you're going to have your two cup holders underneath of this piece of wood. Underneath of this piece of wood, you're going to find a wireless phone charging pad and a couple USB connections. And you even have a small floating center console here so you can stick a little bit of additional stuff right there. Now, taking a look at the console here, the main thing you're going to find is your shifter. Again, beautiful and high quality design. Twist over to D for drive. You do have paddle shifters on the steering wheel. When you go into reverse, this is going to bring up our 360 degree camera system. So of course you've got those traditional views, but if you press that button right there, that's going to allow you to walk around the entire vehicle in the full 3D view. Very nice quality graphics on board as well. And this press the P right there in the middle for park. You do also have an electronic parking brake. You got your drive mode controllers right over here. And then this can be used to control the infotainment system, although it's not necessary because it is also a touchscreen. But now let's go ahead and move into the audio system. Now you don't really need me to tell you that this has the best audio system available in the GV80 lineup. This is the 21 speaker Lexicon Quantum Logic sound system. 
and we will go ahead and give that a sample right now. As you would expect, overall sound quality is excellent. Really a nice and well-balanced sound system. All right, let's move on up to our climate controls. We've got the three-zone automatic setup on this model. Nice and easy to use because we do have physical controls for the temperature adjustments. And then this little screen here is where some of the secondary adjustments will be, such as your fan speed and your zones. Um, this is also where you will turn on your three-stage heated seats and your three-stage ventilated seats, you do have a nice little uh, haptic feedback uh, when you press those buttons as well. Moving above, we have a 14 and a half inch display perched up here on top of the dash. Like I mentioned, this is a touchscreen in addition to that control knob. And as far as your features, this is running the latest Genesis software, so you've got that nice uh, home screen there. You also have built-in navigation. One thing I do uh, think you want to know about is Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. Be aware that as of now, they're still using a wired connection for both of those features. Moving on up, auto dimming mirror with three Homelink Universal remotes. When I press that button, that will open up our power uh, sunroof here. So as you can see, we do have the panoramic style, even though it does have a little cut for those mirrors and the front panel does open up with a wind buffer now while i'm up here i will point out we have a beautiful alcantara headliner now guys just glancing into this gv80 prestige signatures rear seat you're noticing that there are some different things but before we get into that i do want to talk about space first 38 inches of legroom 38 inches of headroom that is going to be a little bit behind some of the rivals but not by a lot and uh, I apologize in advance, we don't know where the ruler is. It's currently MIA, so I can't measure how much from the, my knee to the seat back, but it appears to be, I'd say, about seven inches of space, and my feet can slide up underneath of the seat. Now let's start to hit some of those luxury elements because there's a lot of them going on here in this fully loaded model. So here in the center, we do have rear vents, which are, is very nice. Additionally, dropping down, you're going to find quite a few features. So we do just have three zone climate control, but we do also have heated rear seats, but not just heated rear seats. We also have ventilated rear seats. That's a feature that you don't get on GLE or the BMW X5. So that's very nice. Dropping below that, we have two USB ports. We also have a household style outlet and check this out, guys. We actually have a center console to add that extra premium feel in the rear of this GV80 Prestige Signature. That's going to be an exclusive feature for this top-end model. Now, we do have a nice armrest. We can push this button. That allows us to have quite a bit of interior storage that's nicely felt lined. Now, if we shut that up, you'll notice that we do actually have a wireless phone charging pad for the rear. Very nice. Once again, if we push this, this allows for additional storage space. Nice wood trim through here. We also have two cup holders integrated right there. But we're not done with the features just yet because up here in the ceiling, we do of course have that nice suede headliner. Additionally, we're gonna have mirrors so you can kinda just stare at yourself as a kid and really be thankful for how successful your parents are that you get a ride in the back of this GV80 Prestige. Still not done though because I'm gonna go ahead and hop over to this seat to kinda demonstrate to you what is also special about this prestige signature. So we do have a power adjusting second row seat, which is also a very rare feature for this segment of vehicle that is for sure. But we also have this button right here. It's the relax button. And when we do that, ah, that tilts my seat back, allows it to recline. The headrest is very comfortable, hits in just the right spot. And it also goes ahead and moves the passenger seat forward. So this is pretty much executive style rear seat in this prestige signature model. Something very exclusive that you're not gonna find on those German rivals. Now, as far as the door trim, leather through here, we also have beautiful wood trim. A lot of just beautiful designs going on through here. Bottle storage in the very bottom. As you can see, we do also have a power rear sunshade. 
Now walking up to the GV80's cargo area, as you can see, we do have a hands-free smart opening power tailgate as standard equipment on every single model, so that's very nice. And come check out this cargo area because there is a lot of space in this GV80. 34 cubic feet behind the second row seats. If I fold those down, we're looking at a maximum of 84 cubic feet of cargo capacity. And as you can see, I can quickly fold those down with just that quick one press button because of course we do have the power second row. And uh, I do like that you have the fully power second row so you can just, like I said, quickly press that button to fold those seats down. Now I am going to go ahead and get my tape measure out and measure from the driver's seat to the rear of the cargo area because of course we may not have we may not have one measuring device but we do have this with us we're looking at 76 inches of length in this gv80s cargo area and as far as the width in the cargo area we're sitting at about 42 inches wide now not done yet because there are a few other features that I want to point out. One of the main things that you might be curious about is that you may have heard that this GV80 can get a third row. Um, Genesis is kind of uh, finagled with the trim levels for 2024. So the advanced plus trim level is gone. That was previously the trim level that you get the third row on. Um, now the 3.5T advanced trim level can get the third row actually as standard equipment. So that's uh, your option. If you want the third row, you have to get that trim level. Now, as far as other features, if we lift up the cargo floor, you will notice that we have a little bit of additional space up underneath of there. More space <laughs> underneath of that as well. Well guys, here we are behind the wheel of the Prestige Signature GV80. And in this test drive, we're gonna be talking about a lot of different things on the screen right now. And of course, we will be doing our sound level reading to see how quiet this uber luxury uh, GV80 is. But first, we'll go ahead and start with the hard acceleration and see how that powertrain puts the power to the ground. Ooh. <laughs> quick nice acceleration there of course there's a red light coming up so kind of spoiled but we did make it up to 60 miles an hour in that little bit of time here's a rolling acceleration <laughs> very <laughs> nice very quick now of course like we mentioned with the spec dump the reason this is so quick is because it does have the 3.5 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine, 375 horsepower, 391 pound-feet of torque, so a lot of torque, a lot of power. Uh, it's a pretty potent powertrain option, that's for sure. Yeah, this is certainly very quick, and it does actually place it as exactly the same horsepower as the BMW X5 and Mercedes-Benz GLE uh, 450. So. Um, yeah, I mean, the Germans like to match the horsepower figures. I guess Genesis is throwing their hat in the ring there as well. 375 horsepower is a very common uh, power figure for this segment of vehicle. Now, of course, this is the upgraded motor. You do get that standard on the uh, Prestige Signature trim level, like Drew said earlier. Um, and the base engine setup is actually a 2.5 liter turbo four cylinder, and that's gonna have 300 horsepower, 311 pound-feet of torque. That's certainly not a weak motor by any stretch of the imagination, but this is definitely gonna be the option that you want if you want the most power as well as the most refinement. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, it's just such smooth and nice power delivery. Could really get you in trouble fast as you come towards the uh, speed trap up here. <laughs> <laughs> Got to be cognizant to make sure you're going the proper speed when you have such power under the hood. Now let's talk about the other aspect of the powertrain, and that's going to be the uh, eight-speed automatic transmission on board. Nice mate with this uh, engine, smooth, uh, shifts nicely. Also downshifts when you need additional power very quickly. Yeah, all-wheel drive is also standard equipment on every single GV80. But now that we're going about 55 miles an hour, let's go ahead and get our signature Car Confections sound level reading because we are on our designated strip of road. We'll go ahead and turn it to fan speed 1. Not about 55, exactly 55. Yeah.
Ooh-wee, that's a good one. 52.4 mm. decibels in this GV80 Prestige Signature. And you know what I'm going to go ahead and go to do? I'm going to go to carconfections.com, which is our website. And on our website, we've tested out a vast majority of this vehicle's competition. I think actually all of this vehicle's competition. And we can see how this GV80 compares to that. And where does that land it when it comes to those competitors? It actually puts this GV80 at number two in the segment, only behind the BMW X5, but that is quieter than the GLE. And uh, we tested out a 2023 GV80, and it's actually quieter than that as well. And that's because we have noise cancellation here on this trim level, and I can seriously hear a big difference with this GV80. Now, another one of the elements that is really good about this fully loaded GV80 is that we do have an adaptive suspension. Now, you don't have to go for the fully loaded model to get that. It is included on the higher end versions of the GV80, but certainly this does make a difference in your ride quality. We actually had a GV80 the in, for an entire week long test, and that did not have the adaptive dampers, and we certainly can feel a difference here. Mm -hmm. um, the X5 and GLE are some of the most uh, smooth riding vehicles that you can buy and i'd say that this adaptive suspension puts it within about 85 percent of as good as those vehicles ride so that's certainly a very big benefit um, comparatively before if you don't choose the adaptive suspension it can get a little rough especially if you opt for the bigger wheels and let me also add that the seats here on the Prestige Signature being the Napa leather seats, I believe these are a lot more comfortable than other versions of the GV80. Now, as far as other things that I want to mention, the fuel economy for this model, um, as I mentioned at the spec dump, the 3.5 liter twin turbo comes in at 20 miles a gallon combined, uh, which is not fantastic fuel economy. It's not awful fuel economy by any means, but it is going to be less than uh, BMW X5 and Mercedes GLE, so do keep that in mind. Um, 22 miles a gallon combined if you choose the four-cylinder model. Yeah, those competitors are going to have a mild hybrid, whereas this does not. But it does have very smooth auto start stop, as mm -hmm. we just experienced there at the red light. It barely makes any intrusion into the cabin when the vehicle turns on and off, but you're just not utilizing the auto start stop quite as much as those other vehicles. All right, and we are in our home state of Kentucky, so let's go ahead and do our air ball and slam dunk for the GV80. Drew, kick us off with the slam dunk. Uh, the slam dunk is going to be uh, the special uh, prestige signature features, especially that executive style rear seat. That's something you can't get from the competition. It's really a unique feature and it's very, very nice back there. You yeah. saw when Mason was back there, it really is the real deal. You've got all the features, all the goodies, and all the comfort. Yeah, and I mean, it, a lot of the features you actually can't even get on the Rivals at all for any price point, and they're going to cost a lot more if you fully load them out, that's for sure. Um, and as far as uh, the air ball today, it's going to be pretty simple. No wireless CarPlay, no wireless Android Auto. That's just something, I mean, at this point, you definitely expect that to be on an $83,000 car. Oops, I told you the price, but there you go. Um, this is definitely something that uh, the German rivals do have, and you're going to miss on the GV80. And lastly, in terms of warranty, this is another benefit for the GV80 because you have a very long warranty for a luxury vehicle, 5-year 60, basic, 10-year 100,000-mile powertrain, and 3 years of complimentary maintenance. And let's talk pricing for the 2024 GV80. Now, prices across the lineup are going to rise a little bit this year, about $2,000 on the trim levels. And of course, we have the highest end version. This is the GV80 Prestige Signature. So that means we have every option that you can get on this model. We do also have a few accessories plus the $1,195 destination. We're sitting at a little under $80. $3,000. Now, the next thing I'm going to do if I'm a smart shopper is I'm actually going to go to carconfections.com slash new car quotes. Now, on there, we've developed a tool that will connect you with local dealerships in your area to get you the best price as well as access to invoice pricing. If you want to take advantage of that, a link is in the video description. And guys, that's going to wrap up our in-depth review of the 2024 Genesis GV80 Prestige Signature. If you enjoyed watching this video or found it helpful in your purchasing decisions, we would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below. By subscribing, you help give us access to the newest vehicles on the market, just like this 
new prestige signature trim level. And if you're already a part of our Car Confections family, thank you so much for your continued support because you do make this all possible. If you're not a part, please go ahead and join in on this family. I promise you won't regret it. Also, check us out on TikTok and Instagram, as well as our all-new carconfections.com website, because we do have a lot of useful tools on that website designed specifically for you as viewers. We'll catch you next time as we sample more of the latest automotive delicacies.